Keith, we're back out with another beautiful maiden. This is not an ARF, this is not a foamy. Tell the people, what do we got here? Uh, what are we about to maiden today? Well, it's a Grumman Goose, and it's uh, designed by Bart Lemaris. Uh, he's in, in the Netherlands, so he's a Dutch designer. And I found the kit on rceurope.com, and it is a laser cut kit, so it comes, you know, uh, basically it's a box of balls, but yeah, it's, it should be. And uh, some very unique design features within the sails, how they're put together. The, all this up in here is uh, planked, which is kind of cool. I'm running on a single 4S 6,000 milliamp battery um, using uh, 60 amp ESCs. And I think uh, we're probably going to get about a five to six minute flight out of the one battery. So uh, that's pretty good. So it took me about a year to build. and. It's been sitting, waiting for a good day to maiden for a bit, so I'm glad we had a chance to do it today. The weather's really good. Wingspan? Wingspan's about 72 inches. I mean, it's not a tiny plane, so how are we, how are we transporting this in the car? I well, see the I see some off. brakes in back you here. You can break it in half right here, so this whole tail section can come off. Uh, I mean, I, it's really cool that the uh, connectors that I had to uh, make for the plug-ins. It's really an interesting uh, concept on how it's all put together. So it, it's kind of hard to describe. You kind of have to see the designs. And again, because it's laser cut, there's no, you don't build on plans. It's just a kind of a, you know, illustrated instruction booklet that you get. And then it's not for the faint of heart for building. It's not a beginner's build, uh, but it's something I wanted, something unique to put on the water and obviously bigger is better. So. And you've got it in the old Texaco scheme? Yeah, this 1940 Texaco company uh, scheme. Uh, Cali Graphics created the Texaco logo for me, but all of the other nomenclature, the Thunderbolt, the, uh, all the other nomenclature is, I cut it on my Cricut um, vinyl cutter. So designing Photoshop and these nacelles were really neat too because of the white piping on here getting this um, kind of dagger here that's all done cut on my Cricut so I designed it in Photoshop and then cut to shape to wrap around that in a sail well I know she floats and it's a Keith Tremel build so I uh, I I, uh, I love made in Keith's planes they always fly on rail so uh, let's get out there and put a flight on it for you guys let's do it Cool differential, that definitely helps. Doesn't it? Take A water bomb approach. <laughs> How's it feeling those turns? Yeah, I guess I play with the rudder. Here's all, here's a rudder turn, opposite aileron. A throttle off right there. This is all throttle off. I 
rattle off, rattle off, rattle off. Nice. That was sweet. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> oh. Just get this glide slope and just let her come down. Little rudder correction. We are home and throttle off. This is all glide slope. Wow, it didn't stall either. Keith builds the best airplanes, people. <laughs>